Hi and welcome back to a, a new tutorial. Here we are talking about some not so obvious stuff, hidden functions as I call them. So let's jump straight into this one. But before I do, don't forget to like, subscribe, very important. Uh, keep that algorithm moving forward. So here is the session of this disco sample that I made a little while back, a tutorial on how I did this. So someone asked a, a, a question on one of these forums, these uh, Logic Pro forums on Facebook, uh, how to get the slow down tape effect that you have on Pro Tools, which is straight on to the actual WAV file itself without using automation or a plugin. Obviously, a lot of people know this already, but I'll show this to the people who don't know it, is a fade function, right? So you can do this on multiple tracks all at once. So if you want it all to slow down, and then this is the fade function. We all know this fade function. Okay. So we know the fade function. Now this has a hidden function within it. So if you right click on the actual fade itself, you have slow down. Now this changes it to red. And now this gives us this effect. Now here, you can do the same thing at the beginning. So you put a fade in here and then you right click and this will speed up, all right? So this is interesting for if you want it to start up like a slow tape start. Well, so there's a nice little hidden function for you. Hope that's useful for you. If it is, like, subscribe, and I will see you soon. Ciao.